Hey guys, Zach here from Retinal Abuse, and I wanted to invite you to the first in a series of videos that are going to cover a ton of different areas, all involving lighting design and being on tour. Bear with me as I learn how to make all this happen, but for now we're going to talk about something that kind of tripped me up for a while, and was super stoked when I learned how to make this well, and today I'm talking about adding an audience to your shows in WYSIWYG. So if you don't know, WYSIWYG is a powerful application for designing shows, doing previs, and generating paperwork for your shows and tours, and there's a lot more than that in the software. They've recently announced an upcoming set of more budget-friendly versions of their software for those of us who are stuck at home thanks to the human malware. So I want to put a few little tricks out there that I wish I'd known about early on in my time using WYSIWYG. Let's dive in and I'll show you a really easy way to quickly place an audience to your show files, giving you better looking designs and more impactful renders. Okay, for this little tutorial, I'm gonna make a couple of assumptions. We're gonna assume that you've already gotten your software downloaded, you've been able to put up some trusser pipes, and you've already hung a few lights. If this is totally new to you, don't worry, I'm gonna be posting videos all about getting started in WYSIWYG real soon, so hit that like button and get subscribed so you can be notified of when these videos drop. Okay, guys, I've got WYSIWYG open here. I'm using release 45, which is the newest version, and the very first thing I wanna do is get ourselves organized. So we're gonna create two new layers. We're gonna have audience and audience area. We're gonna make audience area Area, our active layer. So we're going to draw our, our rectangle that's going to determine our audience area. We're going to make it an interactive rectangle. We're going to start at 20 feet out and about six feet back. Now we're going to draw us a pretty little rectangle, however big you want your audience space to be. So click OK, all that, and now we've got our rectangle. So now we want to move over to our audience layer. And we're going to start looking through the library browser. We're going to start trying to find people. So in the library, people and mannequins. I like to use mannequins because it's easy to, for me to deal with. We're going to scroll around until we find one we like. This guy's chilling. He's standing still. So we are going to double click and move him over here. What we're going to do is we're going to put him way up in this here corner. Right at that edge there. And we're going to hit F to finish. And so now we can zoom in on this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all my other layers so that we can focus on that right there. So one thing that's kind of funky with WYSIWYG is that every mannequin, when you place it down, they are all facing this way. They're all facing down. So we need to turn them around. We're going to hold control, hit R, select our endpoint, and we're going to swoop, turn them around. Now he's facing at the band instead of looking down the same way the band is. Okay, so now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this guy and put all the audience members. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure he's selected, go to tools, array, random fill. We're gonna hit interactive. Now the endpoint of that object of this person we, is gonna be the first place we start. So we're gonna draw it across that whole rectangle we selected and then click and then we decide how many of these people we wanna put in here. So we can put it in as many times as we want you know, you can put in as many as you can, and then it'll fill them up with as many as it'll try. But you want to put in, let's say in our case, let's say 20. So we're going to hit OK, and there you go. Now we've got 20 guys kind of randomly distributed in this little rectangle. So we're going to go back to our library again. We're going to pick another dude. And we'll scroll down. This guy's standing still. He's putting on a nice little vibe. We're going to put him up in that same spot. Hit F to finish placing objects. Now we're gonna select him, we're gonna spin him around. Now he's looking the right direction. We're gonna go to tools, array, random fill, interactive, select that rectangle again, hit okay. Now we got 20 more. And you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. And by the time you've done enough times, you have an audience that's evenly distributed. They look good. They look like they're standing there. They look like they want to be there. Okay, so after you've placed enough of your mannequins down, you've distributed them out in that little box. Now we can take a look and we can see we've got a decent looking crowd. We can hide the audience area rectangle because we don't need to see that. And then if we look at our ortho, we can see there's our audience looking up at our band. If we go to shaded view, you can see we got a big old crowd looking at our band, having a great time. One thing to note is when you're putting in these audience, you don't have to put in so many of them because what's going to happen is 
When you put a camera down in these kind of positions and you zoom in to see your band, see, it doesn't take that many to, to look like it's a big crowd, which is great because it's going to use less of your system to bounce light off of all those figures. And that's it. Now you've got an audience for your show so you can better simulate your designs in WYSIWYG. If you got something out of this video, drop a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the new videos, tips, tricks, and new designs I'm putting out every single week. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope you have an awesome week and happy designing.